we encourage our patients to have normal lives with a few seizure precautions in place. Epilepsy is something that can be in your life for just a short period of time. It is frequent that you go into remission, uh, meaning that you've been seizure free on medications for two years, and then we will wean you off of medication. And then you go on to have a very typical life as to those that have not had epilepsy. Furthermore, um, I do find that those that may have epilepsy in their lives for a long period of time, it can be very manageable with medications. It's a disease, like diabetes is a disease. It's a normal disease dysfunction of one of your organs happens to be the brain. Most of the stress is created by the anticipation of a seizure, even if you don't have a seizure. Of course, if you have one, you're also stressed out. So fear management is very, very important. There is a lot of research done that patients who have epilepsy have a lot of comorbid anxiety, stress, and depression. It's always important to have a very good support system, either with your physician or with a support group. Um, it's important to talk to therapists and it's important to have education about what it is that is causing your epilepsy that's going to help you manage epilepsy and the stress around it better. If you sort of have a general idea of when the seizures happen, what are some of the triggers that will decrease the stress that may come from it happening. If we have more seizures whenever we're ill, we'll do what we can to make sure that we're not ill and we don't have fevers. Furthermore, another thing is taking our meds, not missing meds, and then making sure that we're are not sleep deprived. So I think preparation is the key to ensure that stress is not a large portion of those that have epilepsy or those that care for those that have epilepsy.